Hello everyone. Thank you for joining our LEAD AP, BD, and C exam prep program. My name is Amanda Hufford and I will be the moderator and one of your instructors for this program. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you all to the exam prep kickoff meeting. Congratulations on your decision to pursue the LEAD AP credential. On both a national and a global scale, there is a huge need for qualified sustainability and green building professionals. Becoming a LEAD AP will position yourself to meet the market needs and to stay current with the latest green building trends. In order to better assist you as you prepare for the LEAD AP exam, we have prepared this presentation. Also, please use this time to adjust your speaker volume, screen resolution, and settings to better view this presentation. Since this is a recorded session, you have the liberty to play, pause, go back, or skip forward throughout the presentation to the selections you are most interested in. Navigating the presentation isn't hard, and we're sure you'll find it easy and intuitive. Make use of the outlines, thumbnails, and hyperlinks on the slides. Be sure to scroll around the slides and see where a few mouse clicks might take you. About GBRI, GBRI, Green Building Research Institute, is a research institute and education provider located in San Antonio, Texas. We are an independently owned small organization founded with the belief that the best way to encourage responsible development is to provide resources to the builders, designers, and engineers who are crafting our future. Our mission is to promote green building design principles and practices around the globe. We hope to achieve this by making green building resources and education available for everyone, from the first-time builders to the large design firms. At present, we provide sustainability education, lead exam prep, lead CE courses, project experience, and implementation training for lead, AIA, and other building professionals, and students from around the world. We are also excited about our green barcode directory launched earlier this year. In addition, we also provide sustainability and consulting. Some of our notable clients include GSA, U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Army. All of our courses and packages are available online for your convenience and can be accessed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In order to better assist you as you prepare for the LEAD AP exam, we've prepared a roadmap. We understand that everyone has their way of studying, and we recommend that way, use that way that works best for you. As you are already aware by now, the LEAD AP exam is a two-part test. You may either take the full four-hour exam at once, which also includes the LEAD GA exam, or you could follow a phase approach where you prepare for the LEAD GA exam prep first, then take the exam, and then proceed to prepare for the LEAD AP with specialty exam. If you are planning to take the two-part test at once, we strongly recommend you become familiar with our LEAD GA exam prep materials before starting LEAD AP exam prep materials. Take the LEAD GA section quizzes to build your sustainability and LEAD basic knowledge. If you are a LEAD GA already, we still recommend, though it is not required, that you watch the LEAD GA modules to refresh your knowledge. This will give you a strong foundation for LEAD AP exam prep. Following slides will give you a week-by-week -week overview of our recommended path. Week 0. Read the LEAD AP Candidate Handbook. Make sure you have access to our study guide, exam prep materials, handout materials, and flashcards. Print out flashcards, quick summary charts, and reference standards. Also print out the study guides or notes for each section, though this is optional. Meeting 1 is a collection of two modules that represent lead process, project surroundings, and integrative strategies. Week 1, before watching Meeting 1. Print study guide for Meeting 1, though optional, to take notes. Get familiar with key terms or glossary terms. 
and read the Lead Process and Integrative Strategies portion. Week 1 After Watching Meeting 1 Revise each section of the online module if required and make sure you are thorough with the section. Take practice quiz questions for each section. Analyze right and wrong answers to identify gaps. Revise sections again as required. Take practice quiz questions again if required. Meeting 2 is a collection of two modules that represent location and transportation and sustainable sites. Week 2, before watching Meeting 2 or Module 3 and 4. Print study guide for Meeting 1, though optional, to take notes. Become familiar with key terms or glossary terms from the study guide. Read and locate transportation and sustainability site sections for the study guide. Week 2, after watching Meeting 2 or Module 3 and 4. Revise each section of the online module if required until you are thorough with the section. Take practice quiz questions after each section. Analyze right and wrong answers to identify gaps. Revise sections again as required and take practice quiz questions again if required. Meeting 3 is a collection of two modules that represent water efficiency and energy and atmosphere. Week 3, before watching Meeting 3 or Module 5 and 6. Print study guide for Meeting 1, optional, to take notes. Become familiar with key terms or glossary terms from the study guide. Read the water efficiency and energy atmosphere sections from the study guide. Week 3, after watching Meeting 3, or Module 5 and 6. Revise each section of the online module if required until you are thorough with the section. Take practice quiz questions for each section and analyze right and wrong answers to identify gaps. Revise sections again as required. And take practice quiz questions again if required. Meeting 4 is a collection of two modules that represent materials and resources, or MR, and indoor environmental quality, or EIQ. Week 4, before watching Meeting 4 or Module 7 and 8. Print study guide for meeting, though optional, to take notes. Become familiar with key terms or glossary terms from the study guide. Read the materials and resources, or MR, and Indoor Environmental Quality, or IEQ, sections from the study guide. Week 4, after watching Meeting 4 or Module 7 and 8. Revise each section of the online module if required until you are thorough with the section. Practice quiz questions for each section and analyze right and wrong answers to identify gaps. Revise sections again as required and take practice questions again if required. By week 5, you must be familiar with all knowledge domains, so be sure to revise online modules and take the section quizzes. Score at least 80% for all of the quizzes and use flashcards and memory charts to bridge the knowledge gaps and make additional flashcards where necessary. Once you are thorough with the section quizzes, it's time to take the mock exams. These are simulated just like the actual exam. There are 100 questions for each. Take the first mock exam and score at least 80%. Revise again if required and take the second mock exam. For week 7, reread the reference material portions where you scored low or have memory gaps. Use flashcards to retain memory. Revise quiz questions, but don't study too hard into the night before. Relax and then take the lead AP exam. Let's look at some tips for the LEAD exam. Memorization is key to passing the test, but you don't have to memorize everything. Make sure that you have the key terms memorized to ensure a correct answer to those easy questions that are basically just definitions. For example, you could have a question that states, which of the following is not gray water? 
As long as you have that identification memorized, that question will be an easy check mark. Since GBRI has been creating exam preparation materials for over four years, we've had many students give us some tips and tricks on passing the exam. We have listed some of them here, and we have listed more tips and techniques in our study guide. Please feel free to go through them. Be sure to take more than one practice exam. Once you consistently make an 80 to 90 percent, you are ready to take your lead AP test. So, what's next? Let's get started.